here from Walt Grace Vintage. Welcome to our gallery. In today's video, we'll be talking about one of our favorite amps and also one of the most underrated amps that we often don't see out in the wild. And I think you guys should check out because it's just amazing. And that would be the Tone King Gremlin. This little amp right here, I think accomplishes so many things that modern guitar players desire. The ability to get natural power distortion at a low volume, great sustain tone and compression, the ability to be portable, an amp that is well built, you know, here in the US. So the Gremlin is based on the Fender Champ. So at heart, it's a tweed amplifier, but it's definitely being modified to give you a flavor that is right in between a Fender Tweed and more of a Marshall type of sound. Uh, what makes this amp so special is the fact that it has a built-in attenuator in the back. And what that allows you to do is to crank the amplifier, get natural power distortion at whatever volume you want. So for example, unlike the preamp gain that you might find in amplifiers such as the Marshall JCM800, when you dime the overall volume of the entire amplifier, you're not only saturating the preamp, but you're also saturating the power section. And the type of distortion that you get out of that uh, you know, part of the amp is very specific. It's not so, you know, it's a sound that has a lot of compression, a lot of sag, and a lot of sustain. And it's something that you can mostly feel it while you're playing. It, it feels very different. And it's a sound that I personally love, you know, a lot. It's my favorite type of distortion, I would say. And the fact that you can control it with an attenuator, which is a feature that most of the times you have to incorporate it through an external device, it just gives you a whole palette of different uh, options when it comes to sound and really being able to get the tone that you want at whatever volume. So the amp is rated at 5 watts uh, and its power section has a single 5881 tube, uh, which is very similar to a 606. And that is, trust me when I say, plenty to play in most situations. Now, it's not insanely loud if you wanna play outdoors and you wanna play with a band without any sort of like PA system backing you up as far as volume, but it definitely works for most situations. And I feel like for the guitarist that wants a tone machine at home that is gonna deliver at whatever volume it is that you need it, whether it's a small club, rehearsal, you know, practicing, whatever it is, this amp definitely delivers. It's also built here in the US it's built with very high quality parts. And in this case, it comes specked out with this beautiful uh, tan color that just looks amazing. They also offer different varieties of combinations, such as the, the red or the blue. And here we have also specced it with this head and cabinet format, which in my opinion is the best sounding one. This is the Imperial 112 cab made by Tonkin as well. And it just sounds amazing. It's a beautiful combination. You can also get it as a, as a combo which looks really cool. It looks, it looks like, kind of like an old TV in a way. Um, but yeah, it works really well. It sounds fantastic. And yeah, it's just an amazing amp. The controls are very simple. You only have a rhythm and a lead input. The rhythm has a bit more low end. It's not as sparkly. And then as you start to dime the volume, you're naturally gonna get distortion. And as you also get more volume with that, you can back it down with the attenuator in the back. And then you have a tone control to control the overall uh, brightness. Then the lead channel, uh, it's a little bit tighter in the low end and it has a little bit more brightness. It works well, of course, well with leads. And it has a little bit more uh, crunch and a little bit more uh, compression. So again, you're gonna see a little bit more sustain and it's just a sound that is more suited for lead playing. Again, I think this amp is severely underrated. I think a lot of players shy away from it because they see the five watt number and immediately you think it's not gonna be enough. But yeah, trust me when I say that it's plenty. It behaves really well with whatever guitar you use with it, whether it's something with humbuckers or with single coils. And it's just, a, you know, an underdog that a lot of you guys should know about and definitely try it out. Like I said, this is a favorite here and everybody loves it. If you guys are wondering about the guitars that we'll be using for this demo, this is a 1959 Les Paul reissue from the Murphy Lab. It's a gorgeous guitar that just sounds and plays like a dream. And then we'll also be using a Fender Custom Shop 1964 reissue Telecaster. So yeah, let's go ahead and play for a bit.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to pick up any of this gear, the links will be down below in the description. Head over to waltgracevintage.com if you want to see all the amazing things that we have in stock. I'm talking about cars, guitars, coffee, and watches. If you guys want to support this channel, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and follow us on Instagram at, at waltgracevintage. My name is Sebastian. Until next time.